Hello and welcome to this episode. Today, we are installing Ansible AWX, which will function as an automation engine or controller. AWX will integrate into GitHub, where we would have our playbooks and scripts. It should be able to sync or pull the script. AWX will integrate into a single source of truth, which is Netbox, so that we can dynamically pull our inventory. AWX would have a path to our network devices so that it can run these playbooks against our networking devices. AWX is the open source upstream of Red Hat Ansible automation platform. It gives us a UI, as we see right here, a web-based UI. It gives us a REST API that allows us to integrate with other tools. We have a job engine to run and schedule Ansible playbooks. It is multi-tenanted, so you can use for different companies. It can have role-based access control and track our playbook runs over time. We'll be deploying Ansible AWX on a single node Kubernetes cluster powered by K3S. Now, don't be worried. You don't have to be a K8 expert to do this. I am not. But I promise you, start. I will explain every step along the way so that you would have an idea of how the various components stick together. K3S is a lightweight Kubernetes distribution. It is very quick to install as we see one command. It uses minimal resources and includes everything that we need to run our Kubernetes in a single binary. So let's get started. I'll be using a clean install of an Ubuntu server running the OS 24.04 LTS and we have this on an EC2 instance. So let's log into our terminal and get started. First, we ensure that our server is up to date. So we check for any update to our packages. All right, then we do sudo apt upgrade to actually apply the updates. We had a kernel update, so we'd have to restart our server. In my case, this is a clean install, nothing runs on the server. So I'm able to do that. If you are doing this and your server is in production, make sure you're able to reboot without any impact. So we wait for a couple of seconds and our server should be back. Let me try now. Our server is back. Let me do clear. Next, we will install K3S using the official script. K3S is originally developed by Rancher Labs. So within one single shell script, we should have this installed. Now we see that among other things, we have cube control installed to this part keep control is the command line tool that we would use to interact with a kubernetes cluster now if we attempt to check the version of keep control we get a permissions error it says that we are unable to read this configuration file this configuration file can only be read by the root so if we do sudo control version we should be good but i want to be able to issue this command without a sudo it makes my life easy so what i'll do is that i will change the ownership before i do that if you look at so this is the path right here so if you look at the current ownership of this so let's list This belongs to root. So what we'll do is that we will change this ownership to my current user. Then we'll export the keep config part in an attempt to make this stick. 
with this done, if I do cube control version, I should have the output without doing sudo. So let's do a couple more commands. Let's look at the nodes we have. So we have a single node cluster, as we said. And let's look at the our ports across all work spaces. So we have a couple of ports running. At this time, all that we've done is to install K3S, which is a lightweight Kubernetes cluster. Let's clear. Now, before we install AWX as an application, we need a tool called AWX Operator. If we look at the Git page for AWX, it says that starting in version 18.0, the AWX Operator is the preferred way to install AWX. And we see the documentation for Ansible AWX Operator here. But before we can install AWX Operator, we need another tool called Customize. As the name implies, it helps us customize our Kubernetes CMO configurations. So there are four steps here. First step, we install our Kubernetes distribution. We've done that, K3S. Next step, we have to install Customize. Customize will then allow us to install third step, AWX operator. Once we have AWX operator, first step, we install AWX as an application. So let's go ahead and install customize. We do this with a single command. Customize was installed to our current directory, which is our home directory. What we'll do is that we'll move this to a system path so that we are able to use this anywhere on the terminal. So we do this and we have customized. Second section done. So we have K3S installed. We have customized installed. Now we go on to installing AWX operator. Let me clear the screen. To do this, I will create a new folder or directory where we put all our files. This makes it clean and easy for us to follow. I call this AWX deploy. To install AWX operator, we have to reference the release or the version for AWS operator and where to find that image. We do that by creating a customization.yaml file. Now, key point to note, you have to name this file customization.yaml as you see on the screen. So let's do that. We create customization. But YAML. Then, if we go to the Ansible AWX operator documentation, it says that we can find the latest tag of Ansible operator or the release here. So let's see what it is. It is 2.19.1. So we come back here and we add this YAML file. Key sections to note in this YAML file, we have our API version. We have our resource right here that references the release. We have the image that we are pulling and we have a namespace which would have to reference when we issue any commands related to AWX operator. So we save this. Control X on Windows, and I'll say yes. I'll go ahead and apply the customized configuration. There are two commands you can use. Simple one, do cube, control, apply, to reference that customization file in the current directory, or you can do customize, build, you reference the current directory, you pipe this to Cube control apply. Now, once we've done this, we can take a look at our port. So cube CTL, we get ports and we reference our namespace. So we have our AWX controller. Third section completed. 
now that we have our AWX operator ready, we can install the AWX application itself. And to do that, let me clear the screen. We'd have to create one more YAML file. I'll call this awx-demo.yaml. And in this file, a very simple file, all that we do is that we reference the API version, then we expose the application on a port, in our case, 32000. You do not have to use the same port. You can use any port which is available or open on your server. So we do this, I'll save, hit yes. Then to actually apply this configuration, recall, we are using customize at the back end to orchestrate all of these installations. So we go back to our customize file. Then we reference awx-demo.yaml as a resource. Then we save this. Now we have to apply or reapply our customized configuration. If you look at our customization YAML file at this time, resources, it has our operator and it has the file in which we expose the AWX application itself. So when we reapply, what it would actually do at the back end is that it would deploy both the operator and the AWX application. It would run a playbook and get all the various components needed to get this up and running. And it will take about 10 minutes for this to happen. So let's apply it. Build control. We apply customization in the current directory. Now this is running at the back end. We can look at the logs. If we check the logs, it is doing this thing at the back end. It will take about 10 minutes for this to run. So with the magic of video, I would pause or I would forward till it is completed. And I will highlight our queue to ensuring that this actually successfully completed. So this took about 10 minutes to complete. And when we look at our play recap, there were no failed tasks. That is our cue that everything succeeded. So let's look at our ports at this time in our workspace. So keep control. We get ports in our AWX workspace. Okay, so we have, we have our uh, ports. Okay. At this point, we've completed all the four key sections, but we would need a password to log on to our AWX dashboard. That is our very last step that we'll do. We would run this command so that we're able to extract our password. This right here. So we go to our instance. This is the IP of our new instance. We expose this on port 32000. Then we have our dashboard asking us for login. So right here would enter admin and this password. So there we go. We have a fully functional Ansible AWS installed. This would be our automation engine or controller. In our next video, I would do a walk through the various dashboard components. Then we'll start with integrations into our various automation star components. So for example, look at how to integrate AWS into GitHub, into netbox and the rest if you find this helpful kindly like this video and subscribe to this channel 
Thank you.